Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Wizardry, Tale of the Forsaken Land. Um, so, as you can see, I decided to check out this waterfall area quickly, because I th I feel like this is only, I don't know, some something of a bonus area, maybe, and not actual progress, but we're gonna see. Uh, so, I took the shortcut back down from behind that altar on the first floor, and um, just after I dropped down here, I... Uh, my character automatically turned around, and we got some little scene here. The water was gone, yes. Oh, that, that's all there is. Hello, dog. Single... Uh, I want to say blink dog, no, uh, gaze dog. Gaze hound, actually. Let's see how quickly we can kill this guy. Depending on our luck here. Pretty, pretty quickly, turns out. I'll take it. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Oh, so can we walk down here? No. No, we can't. Okay. Only looks like it. Hmm. Have we been... Oh, yeah, we have been able to get that one. I feel like there... There's another chest somewhere? Hmm. That was previously inaccessible, but I guess not. Uh, nope. I did. Well, I guess I didn't really have a choice but to run into these guys. So we need to go to the other side of this bottom floor, actually. Okay, good. That worked. Well, conveniently, there is a way to drop down to that room over there, which we never did, so it's gonna... Yeah. So, finally, I, I mapped out this last missing bit there. Okay, yeah. There's the staircase. Leading down? But where exactly? Huh, interesting. Normally I'd, I'd almost expect... Um, well, we haven't fought these in a while. Uh, individual action, attack, attack, doesn't really matter, attack, whatever, spell, sorcerer. Kriya and attack. There. Um, I almost, I, I'd almost say this looks like an alternate way to the next level. Maybe leading to some kind of hidden area, but the next level... No, actually the next level is not uh, the labyrinth, so never mind. But we have seen the entire map thanks to the, our spells, so we know there is no hidden compartment in the sixth floor. I guess we'll see. Oh, room with magic circle, indeed. Okay, maybe this is more meaningful than I thought it might be. Hmm. Okay, just um, just in case. I don't think there's going to be anything. Yeah, so the map obviously doesn't reveal anything past this point. Well then, let's take a step. Uh, will you warp to floor B8? Yes. But why, though? Oh, that warps is here? Uh, okay, I mean, sure. I'll take it. Um, but I'm pretty sure, though, that this is not faster than just taking the teleport from... Oh, except I, I totally did not pay attention. Is the teleport to the beginning of, of B8 gone now? Do we have to go this way? I mean, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world, but... If both teleports still exist, um, taking the one literally from the beginning of the first floor... Hello, dragon, that I've never run into in all my time on this floor? That's bizarre. Well, I, I mean, now I know where to get dragon tails from, I suppose. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure it's definitely faster to take that first teleporter and just navigate a little bit of this floor. I guess maybe if you hadn't... if you had come to that uh, uh, north eastern room first and and drained the water, but not unlocked the door to the to the central northern room yet. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's go with allied actions, actually. Fake attack. Oh, goddammit, I want Kyo to attack the dragon, though. 
Yeah, no, you know what? Um, you know what? Okay. Offensive, double slash. Yeah. That oh, doesn't really matter. Fire Dragon. I'm a little bit afraid, isn't there? Oh, there is a defensive thing. Uh, yeah, this helps against breath damage. Hmm. Mobile party members cannot participate. How does this work exactly? I've already specified an offensive action, but it looks like we can still do this. I wonder if I should. Huh, okay. I don't know how this is gonna work. Maybe, uh, I guess this is only preparing ourselves for dodging the, bre the breath attack. If it doesn't happen, we're gonna do our stuff normally. Hmm. We'll see. I guess you're gonna do some Zotil, maybe. And why don't you do the same? Because you don't have the spell. Why do you not have Zotil? Wait. Uh, just Teal then, I suppose? Not sure if this is going to be enough to kill the ninjas, but we'll see. Okay, no instant kill there. Please don't kill us. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the dragon to take any spell damage anyway, so there's that. Okay. Um, yeah. It looks like... Still all of us are taking some damage, so... Maybe it, it was reduced? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, he did take damage from it. Or it took damage from, from the spell this time around. Um, I guess we're gonna basically do the same thing again. Maybe this time you, you guys attack. Uh, defensive deploy, I suppose. Attack. Attack. Uh, sure. Sorcerer spell. Just deal should be enough. Sure. Whatever. And ideally we'll kill the dragon now, so it doesn't even get to breathe again, yeah. I mean, I don't know if we were just lucky or if uh, if that defensive maneuver actually worked pretty well and reduced the damage greatly, but it didn't seem that bad. 10k experience? Okay, nice. Oh, please. Please, give me the freaking tail. Just so I never have to fight these again. <sighs> okay, fine. At least make this... Uh, let this be a Dragon Slayer sword or something. Amazing like that. It's a Holy Knight sword. Um, is this... This is the exact same thing that we fought, uh, found before. In what I thought was a fixed chest. Like a manually placed chest. Maybe it's... Maybe not. Um, anyway, which way do we, do we go from here? Even I should have... No, actually, I didn't use the map here at all, so never mind. Uh, let's see, we can go that way. Yeah, now that we have opened that door, we can... Well, I guess it, from here on we can just take wh whichever way we want. Might as well go through the crystal rooms. Ooh, wow, this is a... Uh, pretty large group of demons. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see how bad they can be in large numbers. Allied action... I guess we're still gonna go with the same or... Hmm. We could do a sweep attack. I forget. Have we, have we tried using different kinds of magic to see how they react to it? And can demons be... Um, be uh, affected by by dispel, uh, yeah, dispel, or is that only against undead? I want to use it at least once. And you know what? You can use your freezing staff. Right. Yeah, let's focus on the front row first. And you use 
I mean, I guess technically they they should probably be uh, resistant to fire magic, but not necessarily lightning. Let's see. Is this worth it? Not at all. 40 damage? That's like nothing. Yeah, I don't get the, the point of sweep attack, really. Unless it cannot be evaded? Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. Maybe that's like a half rush. Okay, ice works well enough. And... Oh, I didn't pay attention. Did the stuff break immediately? If so, that's... Quite unlucky. Yeah, I don't think the spell has any effect on demons. Okay, fair enough. That's pretty much what I figured. Oh, that guy casts a spell because he can't physically attack from there. Okay, yeah. Hurts a little bit. Ooh. Okay, at least your critical attacks don't instantly kill. I guess that's the good news. Oh, they actually take okay damage from spells. Maybe not fire, though. I guess we'll see. Um, why don't you guys just attack like this? Kyo can attack the back row. Maybe he's gonna get a lucky... A lucky instant kill. Meanwhile, you're gonna save your spell. Oh, the freezing staff did not break. There was some kind of me message about the freezing staff. I'm gonna have to watch my video to see what it said. Um. Teal? I mean, they took a lot of damage at this point. I want to see if they they are actually immune to fire though. Maybe they're not. There are only lesser demons in here. Nice. Okay, well. Good luck. Okay. There we go. Yeah, okay, he resisted a portion of it. It still took, what, 30 ish damage? Sometimes a bit hard to s hard to tell with the numbers only flashing for a short moment. Oh, huh. well, I mean, between the four of them, they gave a good amount of experience, but the fight took a little while. I guess because I also kind of took my time with it intentionally. Oh, well, I thought I guess during the door opening animation, the the enemies couldn't have moved, so there's that. Uh, should I fight these guys or try to run away? I'm afraid that running away will leave me very vulnerable, but... Okay, good. <laughs> I was a little bit afraid there for a second. Uh, Tantra is also super close to leveling up. Alright. Uh, these traps to deal with for no real reason. Oh, is this... Yeah, this is a dragon for sure. I wonder why I've never seen these up to this point. Okay, and th it's not a dragon at all. I guess it can be a dragon, now we know. And I'm definitely going to have to uh, spend some time on this for grinding for that dragon tail if I, if I want it. And, uh, and I mean, I, I do want it, so... I guess uh, it's, it's more like I'll have to do that if we don't happen to run into one. Uh, I'm going to kill these enemies, I think, real quick. Uh, off camera. See you in a second. Okay, there we go. Asanto got his level up. Uh, Jiriki's really close. Alright, uh, more traps. Let's not trigger the other one. Okay, so quite a bit going on here. Oh, what? Ah, uh, spinners. God damn it. Don't throw me off like this. Uh, I think we just got back attacked. Uh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's really bad, actually. Oh boy. Here we go. Just don't kill Sarah, I suppose. Oh, all the spells. Yeah, oh god, this is so bad. This could kill us, actually. This could be a, a game over, right here. And then this. 99 damage, huh? Okay. There goes Sarah. I guess don't kill Ayali, please, but what's, what are the odds? 
Tio, ha? And more Jacrita, okay, so we're dead. Yeah, we're we're just dead. There's that's that's it. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Well, I mean we didn't get the Dragon Tail, so it's not a huge loss. Uh that sucks though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna make my way back here uh, off camera, and we're gonna resume. So there's another another game over. I haven't actually had one in a while, so yay. Okay, here we are. This was annoying, <laughs> and I, of course, I did not run into another dragon, but I did find some will o' the wisps, so we got pretty much the experience we got last time, maybe even a bit more, and. I don't think this is going to be scripted, or maybe it was. Hello? Maybe this is going to be another Reaper fight. Uh, something's going on. Your field of vision is narrowing, also reddening. Your ability to think is weakening, deep malice is hanging in the air. If you say so. Your mouth has the unique taste of blood in it. Hmm. Okay. The spectacle I saw in the crystal surpassed my expectations. Um, yeah, I guess that's fair to say. Oh. Or did he say that? It was Sir Eugene Gwestum, the man who signed his soul to the King of Darkness to overthrow the throne. Right. Uh, he's here. Yeah, I still don't understand what Ledua's role in all this is. Well, we're going to learn, eventually. Even wild dogs dare not come near here, all because of one mad man. Glancing over history, the start of the tragedy had many trivial things. What? But this is an example of one man's madness destroying the world. Are you talking about the bishop or Ledua? Or yourself? I don't know. <laughs> now I finally understand the tragedy that has befallen our country. I guess he, he probably found the crystals as well and saw the same things. Hmm. But I have yet to comprehend the true intentions of Ledua. Okay, so Ledua is the, I don't know, the original evil here. and But I'm, I'm kind of pretty much convinced that this guy is just as evil. Even though he's, he's just trying to achieve the same thing Ledua does. But uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe they have different goals. I don't know, is it just me? Am I am I just not good at following stories? I mean, I'm, I'm not, but it might also be a l just a little bit convoluted or obscure. Anyway, uh, yeah, the true intentions of Ledua, right. And yours, for that matter. Thinking of the people, it explains why Ledua was using inhuman reasoning. If the people knew that the queen is missing, they would lose all hope. But still. Eugene stopped. He went into deep thought. So did Ledua really just create a, a queen homunculus to pretend that everything was alright and keep the people at peace? Hmm. If so, I mean, at least that was a noble intention, I guess. Did the queen really perish in the flash? Even so, why does Ledua make no effort to rebuild Duhan? Is that not the will of the late queen? If he did that, I'm sure the people would accept him as the, as the new king. Hmm. Maybe? I don't know if that's how it works. In spite of that, why is he so obsessed with this labyrinth? What could possibly be the purpose of going this far to be despised by many to deplete the treasury? If I am correct, the Queen is alive. And Ledua knows that. All the pieces of the puzzle are slowly coming together. Uh, yeah. Slowly. Eugene winked at the monsters behind him as to give an order. Now it seems that I must meet Ledua and bring this tragedy to an end. I mean, I mean, sure, go ahead, be my guest if you if you want to go ahead and take that guy out. Um, I just, I don't know. I have trouble trusting a person who would ally himself with monsters and demons, even for whatever goal. Okay. Oh no. So the the Reaper really just appeared because. 
he wanted to. Huh. Quite fitting, though, with the malice filling the air. Well then, is there really... Oh, there are more spinner tiles here, really? Why, though? Game, please. And why this unreasonably huge room? Please, a dragon? Yes, okay, nice. And before it utterly destroys me. Or it could have been friendly, that would have been. Why the punch in the, in the face? Uh, offensive, double slash, you guys. Uh, defensive, deploy, attack, spell, actually, you can't really do much, just attack, I guess, uh, so teal, and teal. I really need to teach a Yali Zateel, though. I wonder why I never did. Oh, okay. Well, that solves that pretty quickly. This is gonna miss. Nope, or not. Okay, cool. Bit of a waste of spells now. Yeah, 26 damage. Actually, a lot more damage from this one, just because he didn't resist. Well, that's how it goes. Allied action, offensive, uh, fake attack... Sure, whatever. Um, that should finish him off. Oh, okay. Especially when that happens. Dragon Tail, please? Oh, come on. This is gonna be such a pain. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spinners. I get it. Still, they're... <sighs> I mean, at this point, they're really just annoying. They're not... Not an obstacle or danger. I mean, I guess they did kill us last time by causing enemies to just step into our back and, well, destroy us. Oh god. Ugh. Hey, another another dragon. Please don't back attack us. I'm just gonna wait here for the enemy. Uh, more you guys, huh? Please be friendly. You, you saw us talking friendly in a friendly manner with your your uh, master just now, didn't you? Um, let's run away from this. I don't feel like fighting him. Okay, good. Um, yeah, well. I kind of want to chase down this dragon, though. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, god. Suddenly everything's swarming with enemies. Mm, this is not the kind of dragon I wanted. Run away. Okay, thanks, game. It's appreciated. I think there wasn't a spinner back here. Let's... You know what? Let's not be too worried about mapping out the entire room for now. Maybe just the, just the sides is fine. What's up with this pyramid here? Can we actually... Oh, okay. We cannot go there directly, but we can climb it. Interesting. Go back down the sides? No? We cannot? Okay. Oh, we can... I don't know, there must be a way underneath, maybe? According to the map? Nope, nope. Oh, god damn it. Couldn't stop myself. Wait. Oh. Just humanoids. I keep taking the humanoid enemy model for a giant. I don't know. Ah, oh, stupid ninjas. No, I don't want to. Yeah, 
Yes, I did see this, and I want it. Open. Uh, crossbow bolt, yeah, I guess. I'll risk it. Oh. I, I just happened to look at my recording timer and it seemed to freeze for a second. I hope everything's going fine. Yeah, it seems to be going normally now. I, and I keep thinking that this texture is a, indicates a door and it never does. So it's just, just um, yeah, I think this is where the exit is. The stairs to the next level. Atanjibo! Huh? I was saying that. You stopped at the sound of a gentle voice. Oh, um, the queen? Sophia? You stopped at the sound of a gentle voice that was supposedly lost in the flash. Ahem. Yes? There was... <gasps> Sophia! Atanjibo! It is because you were able to remember me that we were able to meet again. Oh no, so she is dead. I have been waiting for this moment. From the time I became a soul ever since then. Sophia, who you thought you'd never meet again, was standing within arm's reach. You gently reached for Sophia with trembling hands. But your hand went straight through. Alas, you can no longer touch me. But I can speak with you, like this, for a short time. I feel that this is a miracle, compared to the to the time when I could only just watch you fight and get hurt. Your chest fills up with emotions that cannot be expressed. Wait, so has she been watching us this whole time? Oh, that's... creepy? With your memory regained, you now understand. She sacrificed her body in order to save you and Colgan. Oh. Okay. And she has been watching over you all this time. The fact that you are standing right here, now, right here, right now, is undoubtedly thanks to her. You thanked her? Couldn't say anything? I mean, <laughs> realistically, I probably couldn't say anything. <laughs> wow. Savage. No. Thank... I mean... Yeah, sure. Obviously. That's the least I can do. When you tried to thank her, her face grew, uh, her face grew clouded. What? Be not because I thanked her, hopefully. Stop it. I have no right to be thanked. Yes, you do. I destroyed your peaceful life. If I did not get caught right now, you would still be living here, living there peacefully. Uh, no. I don't think that's true. No apology would be enough. In spite of that, I'm speaking to that as I'm speaking so that I may ask you to do a very difficult task. Sophia overlapped her transparent hands with yours. The flash of destruction that overcame Duhan. It was not just any magical destruction. It was a ritual. It was a ritual that extracts souls by destroying their vessels. The extracted souls become sacrifices to the sinister god. There are souls that still remain, unable to understand their, that their body was destroyed. And there are souls that remain due to their strong feelings. But all of them will eventually assimilate within that uh, or with that god. Right now, the god has an exalted soul. Whatever that means. Only a few more souls and the god will resurrect. Oh, hey, Colgan is also here, apparently. An exalted soul? It can't be. Tolgan, who had kept quiet, suddenly turned pale. I guess he was with us this whole time? I don't know. Her Majesty's soul. Please, Atantua, free Her Majesty's soul. You sensed it. This was her last wish. You nodded, and she gave a slight smile. Seriously, though, don't, don't torture yourself. It's not your fault, Sophia. Atantua, thank you. Now I can... Sophia began to fade away. To wherever dead elves go. See, you want to see her smile? Yeah, I do. See her off quietly, ask her for strength. I mean, she already gave me strength. So long, Atantua. And she did smile one last time. Ah, oh, the fields. Leaving behind a smile that makes your heart sink, the sacred healer Sophia faded away. 
A shining magic stone appears in your hands. Ooh. Did I do good? It seems as if it is Sophia herself. You got a will stone. Um, a will stone. I'm not sure if I got that one before. I've, I've read the name before. Um, Atantuo. Yes? Colgan calls out to you as you stand there. I shall grant the final words of Queen of Queen's Guard Sophia. You can use me as much as you like. Oh, he's gonna join us? We must save Her Majesty and stop the resurrection of that sinister god. Um, yep, sure do. You must respond to Sophia, who protected us with her life. You shook Colgan's hand with a mingling of emotions. Colgan has been registered as a member. Oh man, this is so badass, but I I don't want to use him though. I don't want to kick another another longtime member out. It doesn't feel right. Ah oh, man, this is such a shame. Now I I really kinda wanna do a, a playthrough with only with only um pre pre generated characters. Of course that would mean to go with only three people for the longest time. Right? Yeah. I guess I mean it it, it would probably work. It's not like the game is terribly difficult. Also you, you do gain more experience per member if you have less than a full party. So you'd gain a few more levels maybe. I guess it should work. Yeah. I don't know. I mean he's he's gotta be super badass, but I'm definitely gonna pill for him for his equipment to probably give to Kyo. We'll see. It seems I was getting it wrong. Oh, that's Kyo talking. True strength is not the heart that can resist fear and pain. But the calm heart that can envelop the negative even and no envelop and negate even darkness. Sophia's soul is limitlessly pure and stronger than anything. Even if it is death, it cannot harm her willowy soul. I feel I have been awakened to the truth. The truly strong are among the kind. Hmm. If a priest is supposed to heal and heal the hurt and strengthen the weak, then I just saw the model priestess. Just healing the injured, you see, isn't the job of a priestess. Giving people happiness and smiles and letting them know that the world is overflowing with light. To teach people that, that is a priestess's true objective. Sophia must have been that kind of person. Those next to her felt kindness. I will grant priestess Sophia's wish, even if it's the last thing I do. And with renewed resolve, my, peop my team members gained extra levels or something? <gasps> oh, yeah. Wow, I didn't expect uh, Hina to actually also contribute something here. That's nice. Tears flowed out of Hina's beautiful eyes. She's pretty, isn't she? There are those who go astray due to their feelings. There are those who are tormented by not being able to express their feelings. I believe I understand how hard it is to walk the path of righteousness concealing one's feelings. In her mind, she must be picturing her older brother, who had become a demon. Sophia wasn't mistaken. She carried warm light within her body and walked all the way through. The power of love is so beautiful, so strong. For one more time, I would like to try and believe in the feelings of people. After wiping her tears, she smiled bashfully. Cool. Well, that happened. Uh, okay. Hmm. What is up with uh, that weird little... Uh, what am I doing? Uh, spell, please. <laughs> don't do not do anything stupid. Uh, yeah, what's... I don't know. The map looks weird. I guess it's just maybe... Um, yeah, and actually the map doesn't show anything else there at all. It looks like there is some kind of corridor crossing the top of the, of the pyramid there, but I, I suppose not. It's just the way it's rendered. For whatever reason, doesn't doesn't show the size of the path there. Well then, let's grab this chest that might or might not be placed here manually. I'm I'm, I'm almost never sure. I guess the ones with uh, vellums inside are a safe bet. Uh, well, 
but some of them have contained items that seemed unique but ultimately weren't. Uh, let's see what this one is. A bloody robe. Uh, bloody with one's own one's own blood? Why is it already bloody then? The magical powers can burn enemies. Disable uses spells. Huh. Awesome. Wow. That's uh, that seems awfully useless. Willstone. Master a spell that recovers all HP and abnormal status of one per Oh, right. Level 6 Priest spell. Well, we have this already. And, I mean, okay, the, the game told me that it's it feels like the stone is Sophia herself or something, or her soul. So, I don't know, in a way, I... Uh, like, realistically, I, I would never use this and just keep it as a, as a keepsake, but, you know, mechanically, it, it's just a, just a willstone, so I'm going to use it. Um... Oh, that's a one-level thing, though. So no one, no one can actually use it. Right then. I guess in that case, I'm just gonna keep it as a keepsake, or sell it. Oh wow, that feels so wrong, though. <laughs> Let's see what this armor is. While we are here, faith armor, another one. Yeah, I don't think we need that or have anyone who can use it. I also got this gauntlet, I suppose, from a gaze hound. On, in the waterfall, so it's probably bad. Demon's Gauntlet. Uh, well, at least it's an item we hadn't seen before, I think. Uh -huh. Demon's power allows to change attribute to evil. Oh, so it's not technically bad or or cursed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we've never seen that before, right? Derp. In fact, we have, <laughs> we have three of those. Wow. Okay. Never mind, then. Uh, who can use those? Uh... Not my back row. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, dip down here real quick and... B9, another labyrinth? Okay. I mean, I guess they have this nice uh, random dungeon generation engine. Might as well get some, some use out of it. Are you a switch? No, not at all. Unfortunately, also not weapons I could just take off the wall. Purely decorative. Hmm. Well, might as well see what kind of enemies we are going to encounter here. Oh, this kind. So the front row here, the front row alone should give me 10,000 experience, which is nice. Um... Honestly, we're probably going to run into most of the same enemies that we've... Uh... Yeah, let's try and dispel this, the life stealers. Um, we might see most of them the same enemies we've also seen in the previous four, including hopefully dragons, so this might be the place I spend some time on grinding for materials and maybe levels. Let's see here, what do I want to do? Uh, I guess I... I'm not going to stay in the dungeon for much longer, uh, so I might as well blow my spells here. This should do the trick nicely. Yeah, and these are actually... Oh, oh, never mind. They are not impossible to hit, just very hard to hit. Surprised I did any damage to it, though. Oh, do you survive? But only... Temporarily. Okay. Cool. I mean, it's almost as good as a full group of, of Will of the Wisps. I'll take it. Oh, come to think of it, we have not gotten a drop from them. They must drop something. I mean, at first they seemed like some super special item. Uh, item. Enemy type, like, you know. Many RPGs or JRPGs, especially, tend to have the. Whoa! What? What? Um. Okay, that totally took me by surprise. I completely forgot that those can now be part of traps and whatnot. Anyway, um. Yeah, some some JRPGs tend to have this kind of enemy. You know, that's super rare and super evasive, maybe trying to run away. But when you, oh god, uh, if you actually manage to to kill them. They give a ton of experience, like uh, the metal slimes in, in Dragon Quest, or uh, well, 
I'm sure Final Fantasy had, has something like that, maybe. I'm, I'm actually not sure. The Etrian Odyssey games do uh, Lufia, uh, Lufia 2 specifically, which is one of my first JRPGs that I ever played, had that kind of enemy uh, cube, slime cube enemies, kind of, that are super evasive. You know, that kind of thing. But, yeah, um, anyway, I'm sure you're, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and I'm just making many words for no reason. Uh, oh, okay. there you are. Uh, can you please not dart around like this? There we go. Oh, skulls, I think. These are not very uh, dangerous. Oh, ghosts, actually, not skulls. Same thing. Dispel. Uh, spell. Steal, probably. Um, right. So at first it looked like... They have more hit points than I thought. Oh, or maybe not. Their death animation just takes a while. Um, at, at first I thought the Willow Lewis might fit that same category, just because they seemed weak and gave that ridiculous amount of experience. But now that I've been finding them um, more regularly, I guess they're really just a normal enemy. Uh, oh yeah, also on while making my way back to where I had been before, a little there, after I came over, I, um, as I said, I, I ran into another group of Willow Blue Wisps and killed them, and I actually, for whatever reason, for no good reason really, I just fought them normally, or tried fighting them with physical attacks, risking, uh, of course, taking their attacks, whatever it might be. And it turns out they just attack physically all the time uh, for both turns that they were alive. Uh, we never, or I never hit them with uh, purely physical attacks. So they are definitely very evasive. But as we have seen, they can be hit. Of course, they are also undead, so they uh, cannot be killed. Or they can only be killed by those special attacks that can hurt undead, of course. Uh, my party rank went up. Oh, cool. To the second highest. But since we don't have any allied actions that require that, it didn't unlock anything. Uh, so yeah, anyway. Um, what am I even talking about at this point? This is a giant, right? Yes. Indeed it is. Okay. Um, right, and they attacked us, but with only physical attacks, and they only dealt a single damage. So they seem really unthreatening. Maybe they are kind of a bonus enemy. I suppose they are still decently rare, and the rewards are just exorbitant for how weak they are. But I don't know. There might be a there might be a, a, a slight chance that they they're capable of doing something really devastating. Just very very rarely. I don't know. Um, That's a level 10 bishop. I'm not sure if we've seen the level 10 bishop variety yet. Uh, I'm also not sure how much longer I want to be hanging around here. I mean, this is just another randomly generated labyrinth. So I guess I... I don't know. I, I guess I can end the episode here and just do some grinding. Slash uh, trying to get the materials I'm missing. Hmm... Yeah. I suppose I'm just, I suppose I'm, I'm going to do that. We're going to I don't know uh, resume exploration from the next real floor, floor ten, which might or might not be the final floor. It seems like a good number, and we're definitely getting close to the end. But uh, I don't know. Could could go on for a bit longer, for all I know. I'm yeah, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to hang around here off-camera a little bit longer and see if I can find anything new. Maybe get a level or two. Not that I think we we absolutely need more levels at this point. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it, I suppose, for this episode. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.